Here's what happened when Palestinians in Gaza tried to protest for their rights in 2018. In March of 2018, Palestinians in Gaza launched the Great March of Return, calling for the right of refugees to return to the homes they and their families were expelled from in 1948 and an end to Israel's stifling blockade on the Strip. Men, women, and children demonstrated along the fence that separates the Gaza Strip from Israel, and Israel responded by deploying tanks and soldiers, giving orders to shoot anyone who came within 100 yards of the barrier and anyone armed within 300 yards, according to the New York Times, which which cited an Israeli report from the time. Over 21 months of demonstrations, 214 Palestinians were killed, including 46 children, according to the United Nations. And at least 36,100 Palestinians were injured, including almost 9,000 children, the UN reported. A fifth of those injured were reportedly hit by live ammunition. One Israeli soldier was killed and seven others injured during the demonstrations. Although some protesters burned tires and threw rocks and Molotov cocktails towards Israeli soldiers, videos and eyewitness testimonies indicated that Israeli soldiers shot at unarmed protesters, observers, journalists, and health workers roughly 165 to 440 yards from the fence, a distance that meant they were not a threat. The UN published a report in 2019 saying it believed Israeli soldiers committed violations of international human rights and humanitarian law and called on Israel to investigate. Israel did not investigate the killings. So what led to these demonstrations? At the time, the 141 square mile Gaza Strip was home to almost 2 million people, a number that has grown slightly in the years since. Most of the inhabitants of Gaza one of the most densely populated areas in the world, are refugees. Because of the Israeli blockade established in 2007 when Hamas took control of the Strip, Palestinians aren't allowed to leave, except in rare cases. The blockade has also devastated the economy there, as Israel strictly limits imports and exports. According to the World Bank, more than 50% of people in Gaza live in poverty, and the Strip has one of the world's highest unemployment rates at 45%, leaving the region dependent on international aid. War has wreaked havoc on Gaza as well. From December of 2008 through 2014, Israel launched three major military operations there, killing nearly 4,200 Palestinians and injuring more than 19,000. About 43 Israelis were killed in Gaza and 31 injured over the same time period, most of whom were soldiers. For those living in Gaza, life was a nightmare. And though protesters didn't achieve their goals with the Great March of Return, they did garner national attention for the humanitarian crisis there. Diana Butu, a Palestinian human rights lawyer, commented on the matter saying, this is beginning to shed a little bit of light and open a door for people to open their eyes and see what Israel is really about. 